what is up guys we are back for another video i can't believe it's been a week since we last did one um it's gone so fast like who else in this lockdown is just thinking where is the time going i can't believe we're in february already although january did feel like the longest month ever again today if i can try and get over 2500 that would be that would be ideal um a little bit feeling a little bit sick this morning so we're just gonna see how it plays out so i'm just gonna have a really light shake um so you can see in the background these are what i use so it's the misfits vegan chocolate protein which is really good and then i mix that with 125 ml of the biomel um this is really good i i've been having the chocolate flavor but i've got this one this is um the natural coconut and it's really nice actually i'm really enjoying it i think because because i've got like a chocolate flavored uh, pea protein the uh, the biomel is nice to have a coconut flavor standard cup of tea and then yeah so i'll go and have my shake and then i've already been out to walk oh yeah it's actually really misty today and it's gone really cold we've got forecast snow i think for the next week so yeah back to the cold weather stay tuned for a full day of yummy foods and i hope you enjoy it please like please subscribe and let's go a couple of hours has passed i feel a little bit better now i don't feel as sick stomach is still kind of like bubbling a little bit so i'm just gonna have some cereal and then see how it goes so these are just honey hoops they're from i think they were asda the free from um and then i'm just gonna have that with some alpro almond milk and then get on with some work so i will you can have the joy of watching me eat my cereal and i'll time lapse in three two one gluten-free free from bagels from tesco so i've got one with the vitalite um butter vegan butter and then the other is with peanut butter and jam and then i've not tried these before but i am pretty certain that they are um low fodmap friendly because they're just made with potato dried potatoes and then it's got like sea salt, vinegar powder, seasoning, rice flour, potato starch. So all of them things are okay for low FODMAP. The only one ingredient I'm a little bit worried about is it's got yeast yeast extract. And yeast, um, I think you I can tolerate it at some point, but things like Marmite and stuff are really not good for me. So I'm going to just try them today. So I've got a bag of these. And I mean, like, you know, when they say, oh, you've got a bag. And then if you look, it's like half of it. But that's an easy um, 100 calories. So and we're already on just under 600 calories now. So and then I've just got as well a Alpro um, cappuccino, no, coconut latte sachet, um, which for me are like really easy ways to get in calories as well like if i'm gonna have a coffee i might as well get one of the um they're like the sachets i think from bnm they're a pack of six and they're only like a pound so yeah anyway um let's try one anyway let's try one so they're quite like they're decent as uh, the thing that i've had pop chips before but not since um the surgery so i've not known whether they're okay with me but then one thing i do like about them is like because they're made out of um potato and because they're what are they popped and not fried like they're really crunchy and they have a good substantialness to them i hate crisps where they just like float away it's 
excuse me. Mm. But these are really good, they're like a balsamic one. It's sea salt vinegar, so they're like balsamic. So, pray for Gina. Mm. They're really nice. If you like balsamic vinegar, which I absolutely love, um, these are really good. the crisp sandwich so pop chip onion just wait for that AS ASMR are you ready you know what it is that's really good because the saltiness of the peanut butter that's already in there, but then the, the raspberry jam mixed with the sea salt and vinegar. That is a banging combination. all done um, these are very good they've gone down well so let's hope they digest quickly and well so I am now going to go and uh, get ready and then I will see you when I'm next eating hey guys so I am just about to go out for a walk with Oreo now so I'm going to take a peppermint tea in here and then I've got um, these chewits I don't think you can see them chewits they're like apple sour apples so I've got a packet of them and then a couple of little Bourneville chocolates. So I'll take that with me. I'd love if you can all just see Oreo in the corner of the camera there. <laughs> She's like spying. But yeah, so I'm going to go out for a walk now. Um, might give you a bit of a um, montage of Oreo out if, uh, if she's good. And um, yeah, so I will see you when I get back. Okay, so we are back now from walking Oreo. We got absolutely soaked, which was amazing. I swear people are always just looking inside this house. So anyway, we have got a, we've got 30 grams of Reese's Pieces cereal, and I'm gonna mix that of almond milk and coconut milk. And then I've also found these the other day in Home Bargains, which are gluten-free, Jaffa cakes but raspberry flavour so I'm going to have a couple of them and then I also have got these so I'll just take the so I bought these a while ago on um, I found them online so if you are looking for gluten free low FODMAP vegan donuts they're called Borough 22 I got 22 mini donuts so I went for these so you've got a raspberry glazed and they've got a little donut hole um, you've got standard uh cinnamon sugar no sat standard sugared and then you've got a cinnamon sugar and then you've got little mini vanilla glazed so you can go for just kind of gluten-free and vegan and then they do do a low fodmat op option as well so that the flour that they use is fodmat friendly so they uh honestly they're really really good and these have lasted me a while so you can freeze them as well so they're actually made with things like banana flour or something like that to make it low fodmap 
So I'm going to have a couple of them. Apparently the calories on them are similar to the um, Krispy Kreme, you know, the bites. So I've just done kind of like 70 calories or so. I've actually already started eating one of the cinnamon. And then I'm just going to have probably one of the strawberry glaze because my husband is only about 15 minutes away and we're going to quickly pop to Lidl. So I'll just see what I can eat here and then uh, put you on a time lapse. So. So glad I found them. Um, so now I'm actually making some tea. So just a really simple tea tonight. I'm gonna have a big bag of rice, uh, which is just like a really easy way to get in like 500 and something calories. And then I'm gonna have some of these cooked king prawns, and then probably add a little bit of I don't know. I was gonna have butternut squash or carrots because that's kind of like the only veg I can have. But my stomach is a little bit dodgy. It's um, So I have these issues where my stomach just bubbles quite a lot and I feel really poorly. And at the moment it is bubbling quite badly. So I think I might stay away from the veg and just try and keep um, anything that's not kind of not fast digesting kind of low. So things like rice and, and fish and stuff are quite easy. Um, so I'm really hoping that's not gonna affect like the rest of the night calorie wise for me. but that's the you know that's kind of my day-to-day -day, well sorry that's kind of my weekly um issue at the moment is sometimes i just have really bad days where the first half of the day can be really good and then i start to feel poorly so at the moment i am feeling quite poorly um so yeah i'm gonna have tea and then see where i get to um regarding if i'm hungry or if i'm not even hungry i won't be hungry but if I'm able to eat afterwards um, due to pain or not, we will see. So we have got here the biggest mound of rice you will ever see. And then we've got some prawns mixed in with carrots. I decide to have carrots in the end and that's just with tomato puree. And then some chopped tomatoes as well. So honestly that rice does not do it justice. Like look at my hand. I could literally pick that up. It's bigger than my palm, but anyway. With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the sky... So, we are going to go and eat this and enjoy it. And I will see you. Look at that. Look at that size portion compared to my head. I mean, I have a tiny head anyway, but look at that. And as always, this author. How are you? You are permitted to smile, your glasses. <laughs> Might you both move a little bit closer as well? I have succumbed to lying on the floor because I am in yet another rice coma. <laughs> And I'm trying to not get humped by my Oreo. Control your hormones, girl. And yes, we still have our Christmas tree up. And it's February. But our excuse is that we're moving house, so there's no point in bringing it down. She went down well, feeling a little bit better. Got my anti sickness tablet in. So we'll see how, it, how the night pans out. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. So, I'm actually not having a great night. Um, I lay down a little bit um, after tea, and I just kind of my stomach is really bubbling, and unfortunately, like. This is the reality of kind of uh, the, 
problems and stuff that have occurred since the surgery with me is that I can suddenly just switch like that and not be feeling very well. So I am going to leave it there today with food. I'm just going to have a, a peppermint tea um, to see if that kind of calms my uh, my bowel. But yeah, it's uh, just left me not feeling very well at all. So um, I'm going to stop the food there. I've just managed to hit over 2,000, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I can just make it up on another day when I'm in less pain. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, um, you know, I just want to be real with you and this is the reality where I can have days where it's it's just really, really painful and really hard to eat. So, but thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I know today's been slightly different just because of the way it's ended. But again, this is, I wanted to do this series to show the rawness of kind of what I'm going through and my journey. Because um, it is full of up and downs as expected. And I'm new to this as well, we're up in my calories and eating more, so it's not going to be easy plain sailing. Um, and there are going to be hard days like this. Um, but yeah, thank you so much um, for watching. Please like, please subscribe, um, go follow me on Instagram, um, six months from now underscore. And um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get another video out guys um, in the next week. And yeah, stay safe. Bye-bye.